Hello everyone, I'm Kiartitus. Welcome to this second tutorial where we are going to create the loop animation Mario Bros. style. Okay guys, welcome to this second part tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to create a final animation. Uh, in the first part we created the Mario head, uh, the coin, the mushroom and the pipe. If you missed that tutorial, I will let it right here on the top or you can find the first part in the description of this video okay guys so the first thing uh, we're gonna do okay I already created one more collection where I put the coin the mushroom and the pipe because I need it in separate collections so the other collection the number two where it contains is called background so you can see I activated it's activated now the first thing we need to do also for the background and the, for make the animation we need to create a plane okay so we are going to start very quickly so ship a mess we're going to plane so we are going to change the align to view and we're going to scale the plane something like that sc going to scale it little big something like that side view number three in the nand pad we're gonna put it behind so this is going to be part of our animation it's just gonna be the background and then we can create a material we can create a material a blue I'm going to put blue something like that maybe a little bit dark and a specular 0 0.2 let's say 0 0.2 wrong is 0 0.7 let's say 7 for the moment we're gonna let it die there so it's in, already is inside in the background collection so this is good okay now we're gonna start the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to create the uh, animation for the pipe so we're going to locate the pipe down here yes maybe something like there right there and then we are going to open one more window just go here when you see that cross just click and drag drag it this second window and uh, we are going to locate our camera okay so we already have a camera in the scene so if you want to find like uh, set up a view for example you like this view or something like that yeah like from view they say okay i like this view so for set up the camera in that view that you like you just press ctrl alt zero and automatically it will take this place of the view that you want now we're going to select the camera okay we are going to change some parameters i'm going to put 90, 90 millimeters okay but we are going to um, here we are going to modify everything and create the animation and we are going to see the camera right here so here we press zero in the numpad then we are going to press the menu right here and to open it okay sorry now this one this one and okay and then we go view and camera to view so in that way we will stay in the camera even if we move the mouse the camera will be locked and we don't gonna have any problem like uh, for example here it happens you see if I move the mouse I get out from the camera view zero to come back so in this this window I don't care because here I going to create the animation but here I need to see what the camera is seeing so second we are going to go to viewport displays and uh, this part we are going to put one I don't want any distractions around the camera view and then we are going to press the key home to fit the view then this this uh, menu we can hide it with T key T okay now this is going to be our view of the camera now right here so now in this window we are going to turn off the overlays and the gizmo because I don't want to see nothing just the camera view without any wireframe or something and uh, right here we are going to front view and let's start with the pipe we're going to select the pipe 
Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click sorry no right click we're gonna ship a and then we are going to lattice in this tutorial we are going to animate our character and mario bros and the elements using shape keys and lattice okay so it already was created so we are going to drag it down drag it down and then we are going to scale it something like that it need to cover the pipe let me see we can scale it okay if you don't know how to use the lattice i will let a video right here and you can watch it later to learn how to use it it's really nice for animation so right now we have our lattice so we go to the properties lattice and then uh, right now if we see here it has a uh, two 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 so we can subdivide it like you can see but in this case we need to right here and hit three like that is okay for me <coughs> now we go to front view now we are going go down here and then we are going to use shape, shape keys so click we create the basics and then we create the key one and then one more we're gonna create two two keys but first we need to select the pi then we are going to go to the modifiers and then we are going to add the lattice mo modifier lattice modifier we take this one the drop and then we're gonna to select the lattice cage this one okay now we select again the lattice go to the properties so we already created two shape keys so the first one i'm going to name it i'm going to name it spend spend and and the second one is going to be the top expansion so you can put the name that you want now what do you mean this one this pen number one we are going to tap to enter to edit mode now we are going to select as you see the had vertices they have a is made of vertices so we are going to select the middle vertices we just drop and select all the four vertices from view and then we are going to scale it and you can see how it deformed the geometry so we're gonna scale it something like that now if we we go back to object mode you can see the magic right here so this is 10 the value is zero but if i put one look See guys so this one we can animate it now if you change the case the lattice case or box you will see you can modify the effect you can go down and we can go uh, up or down you can see in this case I'm going to let it on the place and then the top suspension it's going to be like that we enter to edit mode we're going to select this one then after selected just scale it something like that yes will be something like that and then we go back to object mode so the second one will be like that see so we had the two shape keys for animate so first one is boom the second the second one in okay so now we can start to animate first thing we are going to check uh, right here in the output properties that the frame rate is 24 uh, frames per second i'm going to use 24 fr uh, frames per second you can change it if you want but in my case i'm just going to use 24 and then the end of the timeline it will be 260 frames so this is the total of my animation you can put more elements make it longer or make it shorter it depends on what you want this is an idea so we are going to go to latest properties and then we are going to first with the start with the span so we are going to first uh, frame and then we are going to click right click insert keyframe and then 
I'm going to go to a frame. Let me see. Too much. Number 15. And then we're going to put the value of maybe right there. Something like that. It's okay. I think like this is too much. Okay. Let it like that. Then right click insert keyframe. So basically it's going to do boom. See? goes right here but we can do we can we can change like uh, select this keyframe and then we can move it to 10 and then in 15 make it go back to the original shape zero click right click enter sorry right click insert keyframe so it's going to do boom something like that see Mm. Okay, so this is our first uh, animation with ship, uh, shape keys, but now we are going to go to top expansion and then now we can work with top expansion. So in 14, I think we can right click, insert keyframe, then we go to 15, and then we can put 16 let's say, let's put 16 let's put one right click and then the n20 then zero then right click insert keyframe so it's going to be something like that Boom. see we go right here let me move this a little bit so basically we got this go to then this one we can move it a little bit so we will, the mushroom will go um it will fire the mushroom then goes here to 20 finish in 20. So this is going to be the pipe animation now right here let me see 16 you can move the keyframes to get a better animation or better timing yeah something like that save now what we need to do is animate the uh, mushrooms so from view we are going to take it right here then we're gonna press select, select the mushroom then we're gonna press shift s and then we are going to cursor to select it okay now shift a and lattice we create a new lattice then we scale it we locate it we need to put the mushroom inside the box the cage something like that then we going to change right here the w gonna put three subdivisions and then we select the mushroom go to the modifier tabs and then we add the lattice modifier and we're gonna select the dropper and then we are going to select the lattice okay now we select the lattice again the lattice cage oops like that from view now here we are going to create the shape keys one we're going to create two as the pie we are going to create two so the first one is going to be shrink so the second one is going to be stretch okay now we enter to shrink tap to edit mode we select those vertices then scale it something like that yeah like that is okay go back to object mode now stretch enter to edit mode we are going to select those vertices and g z we move it down something like that we select the top vertices then scale it okay go back to object mode now what we need to do is parent the mushroom to the uh, lattice cage or box so 
select first the mat room then hold down shift and select the box and then control p parent to object from view and then we just select the lattice box and then g z put it up now let me see the stretch how it's working yeah something like that but i think we can modify the middle one like this one g z yes something like that is better like this yes it'll be more g z this one can go down yeah go back and then we need to locate our mass room so we're gonna locate our mouse room down here here we go down inside the cage in sorry inside the pipe something like right here we go back to solid view active our transference so something like here then we're gonna go frame number 10 and we're going to I location and then number 20 I think it's okay 20 we are going to take the mass room up right there where is Mario located there so I location so basically it's going to do boom see this is boom it's going to go there to the 20 and then we just play with the shape piece for example right here the stretch is to zero right click insert keyframe then we're gonna go to here oh, let's say right here we can put the stretch up insert keyframe now you see it one goes and then here in 20 you go back to the normal so keyframe so we can play around like this too same goes up then in that case Mario I go into high Mario for the moment and uh, oh this one needs to go to to Mario collection one okay M Mario okay now go back to business go here form up yeah right there and then right here we can play with the shrink so here we put our keyframe and then 25 let's say 25 you can put it like that so 25 then 27 go back So we'll build something like this but in this case we can make a little modification for example in the shrink uh, we go to from view we enter to edit mode and then right here we select these vertices and then G Z and we can put it up something like that then Z I'm going to put off oh, sorry sorry then like that and then these ones we can like a play G Z and make it more like that something like this skillet yeah get out so now it, it will look like this so it comes right here then here goes 
for example um, this one oops we can select this one and then put it right here and then copy it like a, for example shift D and then put it there hold it for a minute and then this goes here I this one goes here so it will do and then goes something like that for giving more motion to the animation like have more appeal goes and goes down see so it comes the boom it goes down yeah something like that and as I told you right here you can like uh, move the keyframes playing with the the timing like for example 20 35 you can play for example I put I gonna put this right here and this right here and see how it looks it goes yeah something like this you see go oh, boom okay and then here now we can start to play with the camera so for the camera we're gonna select the camera okay let me find the camera first where is my camera all oh, right here okay from view and then we need to locate the camera in the right position for example it's going to start right here okay let's gonna put this on the first frame something like that so the background we need to move it down yeah to cover that part and then from here it goes boom okay so you just find the right uh, position for the camera okay let me select it one more time something like that and then in the beginning the camera will follow the mushroom so we're gonna eye location and then we're gonna go till uh, yeah let me see 25 I think it's okay 25 so we're gonna put it up right here at the moment and then we're gonna eye location so it's going to be like that tune yeah so here we can let it first like uh, shoot the mushroom so we could put this right here let me see Leave the, let the motion first happening and then pfft, yeah something like that you see we just move the the keyframes so it goes boom I can move this right here something like here I think 15 let's try with 15 boom now put it here fun yeah and then right here we need to move this one also so right here we can select the two keyframes then T press T and then we're gonna put it uh, linear so the motion will be we have any curve in the animation we just go so, bam goes something like that now here we can play a little bit with the camera something here so let's move it up then I location yes so, bom you see here it comes boom then so we got right here now about the coin we need to move the coin yeah select the coin and move it we don't need it right now in the scene Then here we can continue animating the mushroom. For example, it comes here, goes here. Then from here we select the box of the cage, right? 
this one ah yeah this one so spans come back for it now right here we're gonna put i then we're gonna select scale and then it's going to make a big change it it's going to grow something right there I scale so it's going to be whoop then from here also we I now we are going to change the scale and rotation so we can put location rotation scale so they're right there right here so we're gonna go to top view and then from here so it's going to come right here boom now from here to 55 then we're gonna change it to rotation tool and then we're gonna change the rotation this side two times it's okay something like that okay you see and then we are also change the scale s zero enter so i location rotation and scale so it's going to be it's going to be same now right here then we can make it a bigger like from here to here maybe here make it a little big I let this scale rotation so it's going to be like that too Ooh. now here we come boom 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 and then goes right so we can still play with the with the keyframe we can move it like for example right here we can select those keyframes right there and then just move it a little bit now these ones play with the timing of the animation you see tune and finish at 60 and then now from here we need to bring Mario's back so we're gonna find Mario where is Mario right here and then this is the time for Mario to be animated so remember guys we have this one and we made the parent so we need to start to animate it this one now let me see so the mushroom come pam, 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 pam. then Mario needs to be like for example I'm going to put 17 then we're gonna play with I location uh, rotation and scale we can play and yeah rotation and scale we can play with rotation as clay a scale so we're gonna let it there so then we need to go back to 60 yeah almost 60 then we're gonna go top view then we're gonna select this one and we're gonna rotate it one and two two times something like that also scale zero enter i and rotation scale and then we are going to go whoop yeah something like that look so the mushroom will go and then mario will come even we can move it move it a little bit like for example let's see 65 boom yeah something right there found Mario comes then what we're gonna do we are going to open one more window right here just drag this one then we're gonna jump to the graph editor and then uh, we are going to select the scale scale uh, x y z we make sure it's selected this one we can hide it 
and then we need to uh, make sure the two keyframes are selected yeah they're selected then we're gonna press T and then we're gonna go to dynamic effects and bounce we're gonna see the bounce effect same you can see you can try with bounce and you can try with elastic like yeah but for me bounce is okay like for make it a little more a, li a little more dyna dynamic when it appear when it pop pops okay so this is going to be mario's effect when it comes so it's going to come up here and then right here he will go to maybe 150 so from here to 170 or 80 he will disappear so right here we go to front view and then we're gonna press I we're gonna press a uh, rotation and scale and it's going to stay there until there then right here he go goes to 160 then we're gonna press scale to make it big yeah something like that we're gonna press same eye rotation and scale and then from here to 175 18 the view is going to go one and two you can press control to make it more stable something like that then scale zero enter i position scale so you're going Whoop. yeah so comes to appear like that then during the time that he appears right here from this keyframe 75 and 150 he going to make some movements with the mouth and also it will be a an, uh, camera animation so it will appear then he will go okay now right here we can make it like slow motion uh, effect for example uh, he say he comes right here right so we can copy this keyframe shift D and make him hold on for a, a bit see before he goes like for example this is 70 165 we can put it something like yeah 165 we can move it a little bit 170 so he is going to do like ooh, and then from he goes so right here is from 170 we can move this to 785 so it will go right there so comes here we play with the camera and then comes and go now we can play and then modify the animation with the graph editor for example let me move this right here okay we're gonna go here to the end so in this part because we already put the effect of bounce he will put it in all keyframes so we don't want that at the end so we're gonna select all these three keyframes okay then we're gonna press t and then we're gonna put it back to the vizier now here we can modify a, a little bit the things for example at this part when it makes the scale and then goes we can select the handles for example i'm going to select this and have it uh, make the curve more curve so the effect will looks like that then right here make it like boom and then he goes but in this case at uh, the two 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 keyframes at the end we can put the effect bounce again with t then we're gonna put bounce 
so we're going to do like boom and then goes so for example right here this one we can move it a little bit to make it longer something like that yes yeah, so boom this one I think we can make it more yes we can I think we can fix it a little bit it will be something like this I think can put it right here and then this one make it then goes okay so it will go like this it stay there then he move the mouth comes and go okay so in this part our camera that is located right here somewhere <laughs> here our camera in this part is, is gonna make a close-up so basically the camera when the Mario start to appear the camera will make a close-up so the camera is right here boom the mushroom goes then Mar Mario appears so we're gonna press I and then we're gonna press location and then the camera will come something right something right here will come make a close up but also something like that eye location we will make it like like this then Mario go so in this case this keyframe we can copy this keyframe and put it right here see so we can we are playing with the camera and right here in the graph editor we can um, modify the curve to make it looks better So will be this keyframe. Okay, let me move this right here. So the camera right here in the object transform. The camera is moving Y and Z and Z just the location. So this is the movement of the camera the camera is coming here and then goes here boom so this right here we can select it then T change it to be easier try to make it rounded yes something like that also this right here we can play T this here and move it and this one now this one we can move it a little bit something right here put this back and then this one back something like that so you will go boom they will be it will make this movement it will come then boom comes Mario but here we have a, a little delay so we can uh, fix it for example I think it's this one can delete it just keep it like that so in this part what we're gonna do we're gonna add the test 
So I'm going to hide the Mario folder, the Mario collection for a moment. Then we are going to bring the cursor to the center. We're gonna press Shift C. Okay. Then we're gonna go Shift A, and then we're gonna go to this part. Test, test. Okay. Now we're gonna go to the top view. This one. And basically the test is pretty simple in Blender. For write down whatever that you want, you need to get enter to edit mode. So tap. Then we're gonna erase the word test and we're gonna <clears throat> type Mario. Okay, this is our going to be our test. So we go back to object mode. And then in this tab, the property tabs, we have the paragraph and then we have the font. Right now, the important one right here is the regular. So we, we right now, if we click here, we have the B font regular, so we don't want that. We just need to open and then find the font that we want. I will use one font. And then, guys, you want you can use any font that you want. If you want the, simil, the same like me, I will let it in the description of the video. So the font that I'm going to use is this one, show card, got it regular. So we just open it and then automatically you take the shape of the font. And then what we need to do is uh, rotate it because if we go to front view, it's not there. So basically we need to rotate it in the X, X axis. So we're gonna go R, X, 90 degrees, that's all. And then right here we can have a geometry, we can extrude it for give it a um, body to the, to the phone that you can see. Something like that. It work perfectly. Now we have the bevel, we can, you can put a bevel to the font. For example, we go right here, you can add a bevel and the resolution of the bevel. So we're gonna put like a 0, 0 0.01. Yeah, 0 0.01 is okay, or 0 0.02. Let's see something like that. But you need to be careful. I think 0 0.01, yes. Or maybe let's type 0 0.01, something like that. my case I'm gonna let it like that okay guys now the paragraph the spacing character spacing you can change it a little bit for example we can put like this and then we can go now to the bevel and give it more bevel now something like that Like 0 0.02. All right. Okay. Now this is going to be my final font. And then <clears throat> what we can do, or what I'm gonna do is just right click and then convert to mess. We're gonna convert it to mess. Then right click, set the origin to the uh, 3D geometry. Okay. Now we need to bring back Mario. So we're gonna go to from view, G to move, and we're gonna place the the word right here, Mario, and then we, we can scale it. Something like that. Put it down scale it a little bit. Yeah, right there is okay. So basically, right now we can create colors and start to put colors to the font. So now for the color, we can just go here assign a new color so for example we're gonna start with the red it's the same process like before we just select the red something like that the specular 0.2 and then roughness 0 0.8 okay and then we can create the other ones by just enter we create a new one new color then with L we select the letter, for example faces, we're gonna make selection for faces. 
So L, select everything. Make sure that everything is selected. So we can activate X-Ray. Then if you have any doubts about if you, everything is selected, just drag and select everything like that. And then you can assign, see? You can assign different materials so you can create one more color, new one. And basically the process is like that. You can select this one and then assign. So then, then what we can do, we can, do, we can just animate the letters. So it's going to be pretty simple, like we need to follow Mario. So for example, it comes right here, then till here, so let's say 80. Then we're gonna press I, scale, then we go back, 60, so then S, 0, enter, I, scale, so it's going to go room. Then it comes here and then goes, so right here. In this part, we can uh, I scale, then it goes there, I scale. Mm, sorry here s zero enter i scale so it's going to be like that but in this part <coughs> we can see the letters are getting inside mario's head so we need to fix that no problem so for fit the position of the letters we can just move it like for example they are here we can also i location and then right here let me see when it comes and we can move it down a little bit something like that high location and here yeah here it go back to the same place Then he goes back, but you can put it up. Yes, like he comes here, the letters. So here, I location, and then from here to here, it's going to be something like he comes and disappear with Mario. Then let me see something here. I location. So it's going to be like something like here. Run goes. Okay. So here we can just let me see. Bam. This one we can move it. Shift D into here. can be closer yes you can play with the keyframe you can like uh, see how it behaving Example is going to then this right here. Up, oh. we can do like that shift D and then put it right here. Then we can go here and play with the scale with the location. We don't need to modify anything in the location, we just the scale. So we're gonna select this part like that then we're gonna press T we're gonna go to elastic see you, you can see you can right now if I select one 
It's going to show me the properties of the elastic. You can see is it out, is it uh, in? And then from here we can modify things. Like uh, you can play with the keyframes. Like this one, you can select this one and then T, and then you go this here, something like that. And then from here, you can modify the this here, something like here. And then we select this one as well. Then we try to make it like round, like goes, continue the, the shape, the, the wave. So it's going to be something like he comes, boom, bam, 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 bam. You see? It's gonna be like that. Then the scale you can modify a bit uh, the amplitude, but for example, you need to select everything. Like for example, like that. Select everything like here, and if you select one, you will change it like zero point. You can put one, one here, and then you need to select the other one, and also put one. Then in this one, it's not too much to change, so it's going to be like that. Then he goes, go down, and go. See. Still like that and then goes. Okay. Fun. So I still don't like the way the phones move, so I'm going to try to fix it. Like come here. So let's activate this one. So Until this moment, he need to be there. Yeah, yeah. Just to move to move the keyframes, and that's all. Look, then goes right. But then right here, when uh, after the le the Mario goes, he need to. I want it to get bigger the font a little bit. So right here goes. Then here. I'm going to scale it a little bit, something like that. Then I, then we're gonna play with all uh, location and scale. So it's going to be but here it didn't take the scale. Okay, one more time. Scale, thin I. Yeah, gonna be like run goes. So come here, tan 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 tan, then goes. Here we can make it like a go faster. Just to put it here, put it closer to each other. This is what I'm telling you about the timing. That if you put closer the keyframe, it will be fast. If you put it uh, separate, it will be long, the motion. So now, in at the end of this, like a, for example, Z scale, we can like a play around with this and select. Uh, for example, um, we don't gonna to modify the location and rotation, nothing of that. So just the scale. So we're gonna select those ones and then we T and we're gonna put elastic. So it's going to be something right there. Like for example, if we select this one, select this one, we can select this one. Try again with the other one. Bounce. Oh yeah, bounce is better. Like tune tune tune. So it will go to Something like that, go one, yep. Okay guys, so this is going to be the, 
the phone animation so goes then on change come then take a look and then go and then in this part uh, we're gonna change just the Mario we're gonna animate the eyes and the mouth just basically with shape piece so shape piece so we're just gonna select the eye okay then we're gonna go to um, right here we're gonna create shape keys the basic and the second one and then you can rename it guys remember so enter then we're just gonna go to this area and then we are going to select all the eye now we're gonna change the to global to normal okay let me see not to normal node to yeah to local we can change it to local and then we're just gonna compress the eye yeah, something like that get out from there and then we're gonna see the effect just like that and pretty simple huh? and uh, about the mouth is going to be the same similar to the well, okay we're gonna hide the mustache for a while from view we go right here we're gonna create a key one and the second one the key then we enter we enter to the edit mode and then right here what we can do just go to vertex selection okay then we're gonna select those vertices this one this one Hold down shift and select it. Yes, this one, this two, and then double G. Then we put it up. Can put it right there. Then we can select this one, this one. One more time, double G. Then something like there, it will be okay. So get get back, and then we can just play. Oh, wow, wow. And that's all guys. So come back here. The mouth is right here. Then he wow. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna just uh animate the, the keeper. Oh sorry, this one get on the way. This is from the coin. So we're just gonna select this one. So he comes. In this case, Mario have the number these keys in one most of the time so insert keyframe so it comes in here this is going from here right click So, for example, he open open his mouth. Yeah, zero. So, let me take this up. Okay. So it's going to be like that. In that in that case, this one we can move it closer. So we close, open the mouth. Oh, you can move it right here. Yeah, I think right here. So we're gonna move it there. So till here right click insert keyframe then here close the mouth yeah so it's going to be like that and call mario wow and he goes so about the eyes we can do the same with the eyes just simple just select the eye and then it goes here come and then here so we can right click insert keyframe then phi right click insert keyframe then 
Yeah. Right, didn't say keyframe, so he's going to bring his eyes. Something like that. And then we just can copy this and shift D. Bring it right here. Yeah, and right here. Yeah. And then he goes and bye bye. Now for the coins, what we're gonna do is create a, a meter. So basically what we're gonna create first is a circle. We need to create a circle so we can go to ship s and then cursor to select it because he the emitter need to emit the coins from this point and then uh, right here we let mario go okay yeah it will something like that yeah, it, it will go ah, right there but no problem we can later locate it ship a and then we're gonna go to mess then we're gonna go circle okay circle then we're gonna open right here and then we're gonna go to view then we put this down and then this is our going to be our circle we're gonna move it right there yeah because Mario will disappear there yes yeah something like here we need, we need to calculate where is Mario okay there then we enter to edit mode we scale it something very small We get a close look something like that okay now we go out and we select it with the circle selected we go here and then we're gonna create a new emitter okay so right here we're gonna go to render and then we're gonna select object okay then we're gonna look for our coin our coin, our coin was located right here. Let me find our coin. Okay. Oh, right here. Okay. Object. So we're going to select the coin. Okay. Like you just select the dropper and then select the coin. I will from view. And then we need to, like you see, the coins are going, but I are going down. So we don't want that. We're gonna change some parameters very, very quickly. It's not too much to change. Like for example, right here is the number. I'm going to put 200. Okay, the seed is going to be two. Okay. The frame star is going to be. Let's put uh, 100, 176 for a moment. Yeah, so it's going to be uh, 81, 181, 181, and then the end is going to be 195. Let's put 195. Okay, and the light light time, light time was gonna be 60. Okay, for the moment this is going to be like that. Then here we're gonna go to source and we're gonna change it to vertices, okay? And click this one. Now we're gonna go to rotation, activate rotation, then velocity, and then uh, renderize. We're gonna renderize the rotation. We're gonna put 0 0.34, 0.34. And the face, let's change it to, okay, let me change this, minus, uh, let's change, zero, uh, zero 02, minus zero 02, for 59, okay, like that, it's going to be, this one there, renderizing face, we're gonna put 1.088, you can play with the settings, we can, you can play around, but this is what uh, works for me. Okay, then um, 
the angular velocity will be velocity so we're gonna put here 0 0.9 okay now physics we need to pass to physics in physics we're gonna change the ty uh, physics type we're gonna change it to fluid we're gonna change it to fluid okay now in the fluid the mass is going to be 0 0.08 kilograms not too heavy then here double density the stiffness is going to be 2 okay viscosity we're gonna put 0 okay and uh, bromia we're gonna change it to 0 0.5 okay now right here in in render okay render is go we're gonna open springs in the force forces is going to be 0 0.1 you just copy the same parameters and that's all guys no problem and there what else what else we need to change uh jet children oh uh, yeah the children we need to modify the children we're gonna use interpolate it then interpolate it uh, display amount is going to be 100 like render and uh, display it amount these two parameters need to be the same huh? 900 then the lane is going to be one and the threshold we're gonna change the threshold so we're gonna be it's gonna be zero point zero zero one enter okay the seed we can change the seed to one to two depend what you want okay then clamping clamping is okay and then uh, what else we need to change the king the king is, is nothing so we need to change it to spiral okay we're gonna change it right here let me find spiral okay spiral is going to be 0 0.2 meters okay ah also we need to go back to the this one render tab and then the scale we're gonna change the scale 0 0.26 and let's see this one the scale randomness 0 0.7 to 1 is going to be show the meter i don't want to see the meter so it's going to just show the coins and then right here what you can do is play play the let it like uh, goes it will show how it looks come and then on. this is how it looks you see it goes and then all the coins come boom yeah now what happened right here is we give it give it a star keyframe right there remember so you can change the star keyframe if you see it's too soon for a star emit, uh, emitting the coins we get it 181 we can change it to um, let me see i think it's going to be down 93 we can change it to 190 193 and then the end we can let it um, like 200 we can put it 200 200 okay so we can play it again Okay, so here we go. It goes, comes the uh, Mario. Now he talk, he blank, and then the, the the coins come. So the last thing that we need to do, we need to animate the camera. Remember, so the camera we come here, then goes here, and uh, when the coins come, the the camera need to come back to the position. So here it goes here something like here right there and then we're gonna play uh, we're gonna give the keyframe i location and then the camera will go down to the point to the first point that will be this one so shift d they duplicate it and put it right there so the camera will go here and then the the loop will start again like this look become the mushroom mario 
Mario open the mouth, blind, then come the coins and then the camera goes down and guys this is all our animation okay so in the next tutorial we're gonna going to render out and make the compositing in Premiere Pro so I hope you learn a lot I hope you like this tutorial don't forget to subscribe leave a like and see you in the next tutorial